state of Massachusetts has joined the good fight. They are getting into the ring with Uber and Lyft. They are suing Uber and Lyft for misclassifying you and me, the driver, as an independent contractor rather than an employee. And in this video, I'm going to share with you some of the details and why that impacts you. And stick around, because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you why I'm in the minority uh, in that I would like to be classified as an employee. And I'll tell you why. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with da -da, the Rideshare Guy. It's early in the morning, 8 o'clock. The, the guy doing the, the lawn cutting just stopped, so I got a little bit of silence so I can record the video, drink my Nespresso. All right, a little background here. AB5, AB5 in California. That was the first kind of um, legal action around uh, the classification of us, the drivers. Are we employees or are we independent contractors? And in California, AB5 passed and Uber and Lyft are ignoring it. In fact, they're trying to pass a new law in November that would give us a different kind of classification and actually end up uh, not being great. Massachusetts has said, hey, there's something going on here. We're going to take you guys to court because you're classifying drivers as, as uh, independent contractors, but you treat them as employees. And here's the statement we've got. Uber and Lyft set the rates. They alone set the rules. Drivers are employees. It's time for Massachusetts to stand up for our values, our laws, and our workers. So we'll see Uber and Lyft in court. And that's Mara Healy, Massachusetts Attorney General. So it looks like they've done an analysis. They've obviously talked to some, a lot of drivers and they've looked at how drivers are treated and they feel driver, drivers are misclassified and therefore they're um, entitled to more benefits. So that's why they're taking Uber and Lyft to court. Number two, why now? Why now? Well, as you see here, uh, this was on Twitter, announcing we are suing Uber and Lyft for misclassifying their drivers. Billion dollar businesses don't get to pick and choose which laws they follow. Tune in for our live uh, presentation, right? So why now? Why now is the pandemic, right? This has really taught, um, demonstrates something for us. If we were independent contractors throughout this entire pandemic, we would not have been getting any money, any unemployment money. By the grace of God and our government, um, the, the CARES Act passed, and then there was the PUA, and in the PUA were a couple of provisions, one that allowed um, independent contractors to apply for unemployment, and to get an extra $600 a week uh, for the months of uh, April, May, June, and July. That's coming to an end in two weeks. And to also even extend unemployment for 13 extra weeks on top of the 26, all right? But if that, if that wasn't in place, um, we would not be getting any money. And there are hundreds of thousands of drivers who, probably millions of drivers, who are living off of that money. And, and if, if uh, that, that, that has taught us a lesson. That's taught us a lesson that there are some benefits to being an employee, which we don't get as an independent contractor. So that's why now, that's why now. Number three, what do the drivers want? Well, at the Rideshare Guy, we did a, a, a survey and we asked you all to contribute your, um, you know, your feedback. And here's what we find. We find that um, I'm in the minority, right? Only 17% of drivers want to be employees. And as of right now, 71% want to be independent contractors. And there's about one out of 10 drivers that just don't know. So it's interesting, you can see that the number before, before uh, the pandemic was at 81%. And then um, after the pandemic, only 10%, right? Only 10% um, changed their mind and said they'd rather be an employee. So that is uh, how the drivers feel. Now, I always raise the question of, we don't really know what it means to be an employee who works for Uber and Lyft. We have these assumptions 
that it's like a nine to five job and there's going to be lots of rules and regulations and things like that. And we don't know that. We don't know that. But overall, drivers overwhelmingly would prefer to be independent contractors currently the way the system is right now. Okay, fourth and finally, what are drivers' main concerns? Okay, what is it we're really worried about? Um, what do we think about when it comes to being an independent contractor versus being um, an employee? Well, as you can see here, the first one is freedom and flexibility. We all want freedom and flexibility. The question is, if we were an employee, would we lose any of our freedom and flexibility? Benefits, okay, clearly as an independent contractor, we have none. If it weren't for the PUA right now, many of us would be hurting real bad. Um, so unemployment, overtime, health insurance. Set your own prices. So this is something that um, as an employee and as an independent contractor, we can't do. We really, and that's something that's fundamental to being an independent contractor is that you can say, I do a really good job, I'm gonna charge a little bit more, you know, and then, and then go get it. No matter how good a driver you are, you're gonna get paid the same as the driver who's, you know, doesn't keep his car clean and has a crappy car and doesn't treat his, his passengers properly and things like that. There's no scale between this is a great driver and this is a poor driver makes no difference, no difference in our, in our revenue. And then termination. So this is something that um, happens again, if we're an independent contractor or uh, an employee. So as an independent contractor, we shouldn't just be able to be terminated by a company, right? Um, but they can terminate you for no reason here uh, at Uber and Lyft. I've, I've been terminated for six weeks for no reason, you know? They apologized and gave me $1,000 at the end, but hardly worth it. And there's, you know, so many stories, and especially recently, of Lyft seemingly for no particular reason terminating uh, experienced high-rated drivers. And then what we signed up for. So this is an argument that a lot of people say, well, heck, you signed up as an independent contractor, you knew what you were getting in for. And to that I say, yeah, kind of. When I, when I started, I was hired at a certain rate, right? And I expected that rate to maintain. That rate has not maintained. It has been whittled down. Um, the, I used to be offered bonuses, and now those bonuses are basically gone, okay? And they're s severely reduced, right? So a lot of things have changed. There's, there's more... Um, more ways that Uber and Lyft can control how I drive throughout the day. And that wasn't part of the deal when I signed up, right? Uh, it was an independent contractor. You signed a contract, you say, these are the terms and that's it, right? And you can live with those terms. That's not what happened here because again, we're not true independent contractors. We're more like employees and we've just seen our kind of our rights get whittled, whittled down. So, so what are the key takeaways? No matter what anyone says, we are never going to be true independent contractors of Uber and Lyft. Um, if you just look at the letter of the law in California, um, we, we are more on the side of employee than we are on the side of independent contractor. Massachusetts is looking at that and saying, hey, wait a minute, um, our people are getting mistreated here. We're going to take you know, legal action. In the end, what difference does it make? You know, it's going to go to court. Something's going to be decided. As we've seen in California, it made no difference. Now there's a new law coming up for to vote on in November. So what if it passes or doesn't pass? I don't really see things changing. Um, I just think Uber feels like they're in Lyft, you know, too big, too big to fail. And um, what can they do? What can the government actually do to change our situation? I don't know. I'm not a lawyer, uh, so I don't know. But the facts are the facts. We're more like a, an employee than we are an independent contractor. And then all this other stuff's going on. So just keep driving. If you feel safe and you want to go out and drive, have that person sitting in your back seat, drive around, you know, make some money. 
live with the, live with the rules that Uber and Lyft have laid down for us because that's all we can do. All right. Hey, thank you so much for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up. My name is Jay Crater. Be sure and like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Go out and have a great day. Be safe out there.